This is the biggest wolf in sheep's clothing of the year. It looks like any old Kia EV6. It smells like any old Kia EV6, but this ain't any old Kia EV6. In fact, in a zero to 60 mile an hour test on the track, this smoked a vehicle that cost exactly $200,000 more. Kia lined up some of the world's fastest supercars for a zero to 60 mile an hour test. And this little car could beat all of them across the finish line, except for the McLaren 570S, which starts at $208,800. But zero to 60 mile an hour times are just the beginning. I'll jump into the vehicle and get on the track in a second, but the stats are simply amazing. This is the most powerful Kia ever built. It has a top speed of 161 miles an hour and zero to 60 miles an hour in just 3.4 seconds. Cut me a little slack, will you? I'm having too much fun. I'm gonna do the first lap in sport mode and just see how the car handles. Why do we test these vehicles to such extremes? Because the second you need performance for safety reasons, you can rely on a vehicle. At least that's what I tell our news director. And it's not complicated to get into GT mode, by the way. It's just the push of a button. Now, that neon button below the steering wheel that says GT on it, well, that's there for a good reason. It's there for a good time. And it delivers a good time on and off the track. But let's get realistic. Can you afford such a machine? Well, here's another mouth drop. So I'm really impressed about the pricing of the Kia EV6 GT. So look at the competitive set, things like the Model Y and Ford's Marquee GT. You'll pay about $10,000 more for those vehicles for about 100 horsepower less. And you'll find that they have slower zero to 60 mile an hour times as well. There is just one price for the Kia EV6 GT, $61,400, with no options, no packaging, and no fuss. And that's $8,590 less than the starting price of the Tesla Model Y equivalent. The EV6 GT has 121 more horsepower and is 0.1 seconds faster than the Model Y. And it has a similar story when it comes up against the Ford Mark E GT competition. So when you buy a brand new Kia EV6 GT, you get a thousand kilowatt hours of electricity, complements of Electrify America and Kia. What does that equate to? Well, that's about 4,000 miles of driving just for buying the vehicle. I have a rule. I don't talk about cars unless they're good. I don't waste my time telling you what not to buy, only what I like. And you can see, I like the Kia EV6 GT. Now you'll be hard pressed to recognize the difference between this Kia EV6 GT and a regular EV6. The one big difference, the badging, and then there's also the wheels. They're slightly different and they have these neon calipers and that neon color also continues on the inside of the vehicle. The neon piping and accents make a nice touch on the inside, something that other high-end manufacturers do, like Aston Martin. Much the same as the regular Kia EV6. This has two 12.3 inch screens. And those screens, very clear, and lots of infotainment information. At the end of the day, we got some smoky burnouts on the track. Did I mention that this has a secret drift mode? I'm Nick Miles.